Hey Pokemon fans, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. I realized that it was recording and I just kind of forgot to do the intro there for a second. Um, like I said, I kind of record these matches uh, uh, periodically or kind of randomly um, and I kind of forgot that everything was connected. But in case you're brand new to my channel, I've been open, opening one Pokemon booster pack every single day. In addition to that, about two weeks ago, I started bringing back daily gameplay matches as well. And I'm really interested in my opponent's deck. This is a deck that I think me and a buddy were talking about that we both said could get popular in the upcoming meta um yeah especially ro revolving ar around archie's ace in the hole and this blast boys blast toys from the plasma freeze era um definitely two cards that could be making a comeback so i decided to make sure it was recording right away and we're gonna kind of kind of go ahead and side read through this match like i said i don't really know how my deck's gonna hold up against this type of deck but we're just gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and approach like normally i'm familiar with some of the other cards still uh uh, Kale uh, uh keldeo is nothing new he can rush it and stuff does 20 more damage for each water attached to this pokemon um so that can rack up pretty quickly depending just how many water energy my opponent is rocking here. Move all energy from this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon any way that you like. So he's definitely using, uh, taking advantage of switching energy around. So um, I still think I'm going to approach this like normal. I'm going to take a look, make sure if... Uh, wait, where's Tapu Lele? Tapu Lele, you better be there. Okay, Tapu Lele is there. I'm taking just a quick peek, pay, quick peek to see what's there really quickly. Let's go ahead and throw out... I'll throw out Tapu Lele. We'll get Bridget going. And we're going to still approach this, I think, like normal. Um, I think there's a good chance that Zorua could get knocked out next turn. But this setup, I've been really, really liking. So we're still going to go ahead. We're going to play Bridget. Um, I'm going to have to top deck something pretty good next turn. No, I got Cynthia. So I can still go ahead, recycle my hand, even if I don't get anything good uh, at the start of my turn next turn. Um, but we're going to go ahead and play out. Yeah, this is where we're going to uh, go ahead and play out. I've been loving this combination of putting out Pseudo Wudo, Slugma, and Zorua. It's been pretty consistent. The times when I can have two Zoruas out have been pretty good, too. But for the most part, I've been really liking this combination. So we're going to go ahead and see what our opponent's cooking up. I have a feeling um, a deck like this, where me and, me and a friend were actually talking about uh, some decks that could get good with the rotation happening. Archie's Ace in the Hole is actually going to become really, really popular again. Um, and I'm just kind of, I kind of want to kind of see the magic that my opponent's working. I have a feeling it's going to be something pretty good. Um... Yeah, Archie's Ace in the Hole is a card that is kind of a classic. You can play this card when it's the last card in your hand. Put a water energy from your discard pile onto your bench Pokemon, then draw five cards. It's a pretty, pretty dang good card um, if you're working real water type decks. Um, so my opponent's got a lot of, a lot of choices right now. And it kind of looks like also, too, um, some other people are doing this, too, uh, where we're kind of just taking out a lot of the cards that are going to be banned so far. I haven't seen, like, Wally. I haven't seen Puzzle Time, Hex Maniac, or anything like that in my opponent's deck yet. Um, so it's kind of interesting to see, um, especially in uh, recently playing online expand format. I've seen a lot more hybrid hybrids between older cards, like this Blast Boys from the Plasma Freeze era, uh, black, white, black and White era, uh, combined with things like with Wishy Washy from uh, Guardians Rise and Sun and Moon, which is really, really cool to see people get more creative uh, with the ban that's coming up, even before the ban's even officially taken place. I've already seen just a lot more creativity in some of the decks in the format. Um, I'm excited to see what my opponent's gonna do. It is not gonna be hard for him to attach a lot of energy. He's gonna be able to attach as much energy as he wants to. Dang. I mean, I knew my pup was going to get knocked out. There's nothing I can really do about that. He can attach as much energy as he wants to. That Blastoise kind of reminds me of... Uh, Sacred Sword, like I said. I saw that coming for 110. In order for him to knock out still, no matter what, he'd still have to get a choice ban on. And I'm just kind of paying attention to some numbers right now. That Blue Surge GX, that's a scary attack. That's for sure. So I just gotta be really, be really conscientious, um, especially playing against a new deck. So I still think I'm gonna go out with Zork. Ah, Blastoise. I wish I could get rid of that Blastoise, but I just don't really think there's a way I can pull that off. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna kind of hope for a really solid hand. That's actually all cool right there. Let's go ahead and see if this does anything. 
Like I said, I've never played against this deck, so I love being here to record raw moments playing against new decks, things like that. Because it happens when you play, when you even go to regional tournaments, you'd be surprised. This makes me happy. This does open up some possibilities to be able to knock out their opponent getting Skyfield. Those are some great cards I got in my hand here, so I think I should be able to get a knockout this turn if I play my cards right. Let's go ahead and battle compressor everything out of here. We're gonna go ahead, I think I should have at least three executes. Three executes in here right now. That makes me very happy. Um, I have all four of my executes in there. Let's go ahead and cycle some things out. I'm gonna go ahead and grab, I'm still gonna grab, I was thinking it'd be pretty cool to be able to grab a cargo but I can't guarantee anything with with Cynthia. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go in, and we're gonna grab, I'm gonna grab uh, Zork still. So we're still gonna go ahead and grab Zork. Uh, yeah, that's a good option. I like that a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and evolve. I'm really glad I decided to start recording this one I did. Um, let's go ahead and evolve the Zorua. Uh, is there anything else I wanna get back in there? I think I got a couple other pups in there. I, I got some other pups. I don't think I really need to play Rescue Stretcher yet. Uh, I should have some more in there, so hopefully I get some more pups when I would like to put another pup on there, pup out there, because I think this Zork could get knocked out next turn. It's very, it's very possible with that Wishy Washy. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Because, um, put a Pokemon. I might regret this later, but I really want to have another Zorua ready on my bench regardless no matter what so i gotta keep that in mind that um for later for later in the match that's actually the only card i have out there that can retreat pokemon uh we're get we're looking in pretty good shape right now what is it 170 20 40 60 80 100 120 i'm at 150 150 right now i need one more pokemon out of my bench um do i want to grab anything else do i want to grab a pup i just threw out another pup uh, I think I will, I'd rather put out something else, something with a little more beef to it. I mean, I already got more, I already got a million, um, I already got Tapu Lele and Shaman out there, so it doesn't really matter. I could throw out something with a little bit more beef to it, because I really don't like, I really don't like sticking out my Executes for, because they're just kind of exposed little fellas there. They're far more useful. I mean, there's times when I use them to get to the max damage, uh, get Zoruk, Zoruk to his max attack. Um, but I really don't like leaving them out on the bench. I, I found that's really bad luck. Let's just let's just throw out another Zorua. Why not? That's perfect. Way that opens up way more opportunity. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 140. That hand right there. 140, 50, 60, 70. Like I said, I do the math probably like a million times, and you should absolutely do this in in live matches too. Uh, 20, 40, 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 50, 60, 70 with choice band. Exactly 170. It's always good to double check those kind of things. Never feel bad for double checking the math, having your opponent double check the math. Um, I don't mind doing that. Eventually, I want to do these. Things. I was actually thinking. I was actually talking to someone earlier today. I really want to take these matches, and eventually, I'm thinking in 2019, I might do both the booster pack and the uh, and the daily match just live some days of the week. Just go ahead. So right now, I'm recording some things in advance. Sometimes the daily matches I'm putting out just a little bit later, but we'll go ahead and see what my opponent does next. I don't think this Zork is gonna last. Um, and like I said, next turn, I have to have a pretty magical hand in order to knock out this bad boy Wishy Washy. There's only one way. Yeah, in order to knock him out, I have to get the magical, magical number for, and he could disrupt the field a little bit if he wants to, if he decides he wants to play N or anything like that, there are ways for him to throw my hand off as well. Um, in order for me to knock out this wishy-washy with one hit from this to work, I have to throw out some pretty heavy things. I have to have, ugh, Palkia. Is he going to win with Palkia? He might. Just, wait, that's not the one with... That's not the one with shuffle energy from me from each of your opponent's Pokemon. This attack does no. No, I thought it was I thought it was Dialga, the one that gets like two turns in a row or something like that. I'm surprised people haven't found a way to break uh, to break that card. Yeah, uh, not Palkia, but Dialga. Um, so I'm curious. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. I was happy I was able to get that. Go and discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Move all energy from this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Making sure I read through. Move any number. 
So I have to have some pretty lucky things happen the next couple turns. Like I said, I predicted this Zork getting knocked out and that's exactly what's gonna happen. And then next turn, I have to have, actually, wait a second. We're gonna do something cool. We're gonna do something pretty, pretty cool next turn. Is that what I wanna do? I think I wanna save, there's a couple, I could use this Zork down here. He's throwing out another Palkia. He can't have to put out any more Pokemon because I have this Pseudo Wooda out here. And he's burning through his deck really fast too. I'm deciding something right now. I think, I mean, I know, I already called that he was gonna get knocked out. And I think I know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna keep it simple. I was ready to try to monkey through my deck a little bit, but I gotta hope there's a couple pieces there in place in order to pull off this next play. This attack does 20 more damage from the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon. Blue Surge GX, I saw that coming. I saw that coming last turn, I was saying them. I knew Zork was gonna get knocked out there. And now, He'll get down to three prize cards, and he still would have to knock out. Say hello to my dog in the background barking. I'm gonna shut the door just for a second. I just hear something outside. I have, we're gonna try to do something cool. I think I know what I'm gonna do. So first, let's double check that. That makes things really easy, getting that double colors energy, actually. Actually, I'm gonna keep things pretty simple. First, the only thing I, I would like to check my deck right now. So let's go ahead. This made this made it really easy. I think if I evolve the Zork, 220, move all energy from this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. Let's go ahead. I would have liked to put out. No, I already have another Zorua out there, and I have another Skyfield there. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna evolve this Zork. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna evolve this Zork, and now I should be able to knock him out with his attack. The other two pieces I would like to check that are in there right now. I want to see if a teammates is in there is in there because I'm gonna need a teammates Hopefully teammates is in prize. Well, it's not gonna matter. I'm gonna get two prize cards anyway So 50 50 shot of that happening. Let's go ahead and put teammates at the top of there um, Take a look to have more Zorks in there. I have Zorks. I have other things um, But Guzma would also be a good choice too Let's go ahead. We're still going to play teammates this turn. No, I don't know if I can now. Mm, no, I would have messed that up. Um, so let's go ahead. That Zork's still going to get knocked down next turn. So then hopefully I can wrap things up somehow. Because he's going to have to put out one of these big guys. And I should be able to knock one of them out in some way, shape, or form. With teammates, hopefully something. Um... I might have not been the play to make, but we'll go ahead and see. Uh, and I'm going to use Blue Surge GX. Yep, it's, it's crazy. Foul play is an absolute crazy attack. You get to use one of your opponent's attacks regardless of energy, whatever. You get to use one of your opponent's attack. If you run a Zork deck of any kind, you can find room for this Zork. It is an absolute game changer. In my deck, this is the only way I can use ever use a GX attack. I absolutely love it. It's like uh, oh, and I get and I get to move in energy. That's awesome. I, I totally forgot about this this part of his attack because, like I said, I, I totally didn't expect that part. Right? Um, that's cool. That opens up some possibilities. And he already used his GX attack. next turn we're going for a couple things we're really only going for I need a Zork and I need a stack bench I think that's what I need N a great time to play in always always a good time to play in I'm gonna 
say my Yu-Gi-Oh pun right now, the heart of the cards. Actually, that's two pretty good things to get. Alrighty, let's go ahead. Um, trying to think before I play anything. Teammates wasn't there. Let's see, I want to wrap this up. So at this point in the match, it's always good to think about how can you wrap up things as efficiently as possible. I need to just get 180. I need my bench filled and I need Zork. One, two, three, four. Four Pokemon out of my bench. I need Zork. And I think I know how to do this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play Ultra Ball. I'm gonna go for another Zork. I'm gonna evolve this work, and like I said, there's probably a couple ways I could go about this, but this is how my brain is interpreting this right now. Um, at this point, let's go ahead and search for another Pokemon in my deck. There's one in particular. I wanted to go for a Shaman just to get a little bit of extra draw support. And then I have my Exeggutes here in my bench. Let's go ahead and bring one of these people back. Let's go ahead and trade. At this point, I think I was fine. My opponent decided to go ahead and forfeit right there anyways. There was a couple ways I could have probably wrapped that up there. More, Definitely more than one way there. Um, I'm so glad I decided to record that match and keep this going. My opponent had a really, really cool deck. And I wish I, I, I wish they would have kept it in there just a little bit longer. Um, like I said, absolutely the MVP was 100% this over. Um, the Zorg from Black and White. Actually, let's pull him up really quickly while I'm, I'm kind of like, I, I always love it when I play against matches like that where I have absolutely no experience with the deck whatsoever. Um, uh, and like I said, just I, lately in, in the meta, I've just been seeing a lot of more uh, creativity. I want to try to uh, implement and do some other cool things like this. But the star of this match with this was this Zorg from uh, Black and White. Um, foul play is an absolutely crazy attack and it made things very, very easy for me. Not only did I get to use my opponent's attack. I gotta switch my double colors energy from this main guy. Knowing that he was gonna get knocked out absolutely made it very, very easy. But fellow trainers, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Like I said, this was just a fantastic, fantastic match. Um, and kind of what I said earlier too, what I want to do at the start of the year, I think in 2019, I think maybe every other day, maybe every day, I will still record some of the daily booster packs in advance, but sometimes I think I just want to do the booster pack and the gameplay during a live stream and just see how that goes. Um, but as always, everything on this channel is kind of work in progress and I will see you tomorrow as always.